Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to yet another video with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. Today, joined by Schmidt, Chief of the Man. And uh, today, we're going to be looking at another Against the Grain beer, this time a bourbon barrel aged Rauch beer yeah. made with what was it? Uh, yeah, Alderwood smoked salt. And it's the Against the Grain McFenny Ball. McFenny Ball. Cool label, wax, and all that shit on it. Oh, so, yeah. you know, it's limited. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a eight and a half percent alcohol. Put a wax on cosplay bottle and see yeah. if you can drink it. <laughs> but have we got it poured? Kind of looks like a pilsner or something like that. Lager. Yeah, I mean uh, Vienna lager or something. Yeah, yeah. like that kind of mm -hmm. ambery, golden amber color. Nice white hit. Uh, yeah, let's check out the aroma. It's a mix of uh, peaty, minerally smoke, but also meat. I'm getting spy pilsner. <laughs> yeah, spy pulls, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pure yeah. sausage, pure <laughs> sausage. A little and bit of the, of the rauch uh, malt. I'm not getting much saltiness except for like a meaty component. Yeah. And I think we may, might, have to, might have to speak up a little because the winter's picking yeah. up now. I'm, I'm, I'm getting uh, more of the peat and the salt. Yeah. It's just smoke and then some sweetness, like mm. a vanilla caramel sweet. sweetness yeah. to it. Probably a little bit, because a little bit, yeah. Smells, smells nice for us. Oh, yeah, different yeah. for us. Want to give it a taste? Cheers. Yes. Wow, that's a weird smoke. <laughs> that is salty. That is, that is salty and meaty and minerally. Rullepuls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rullepuls. <laughs> rullepuls. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. If you've ever, you probably never had that, but rullepuls uh, is, uh, I think it's a pork belly mm. that you put uh, you cut it up and then you put salt on the inside and pepper, pepper and, and then you roll it and then you boil it and then you cut it in deli slices. Mm -hmm. It's like a Danish traditional thing. Thing. It tastes like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But with smoky flavors because mm. it's so salty and woody. <laughs> this is so weird. The, 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 this is weird. Yeah. It's bye bye. But it's also got that cured mm. ham. I mean, if you don't like uh, the uh, beech wood type meaty smoked beers. Stay away from this because this yeah. is very meaty. Oh, but there is some you, bourbon sweetness. You, you still get the bourbon and uh, and, uh, yeah. and the uh, and the peat. Yeah, yeah. There's like a peaty, mm. minerally flavor to yeah. it. But the, the kind of bourbon gives some caramelly kind of sweet, yeah, a little, a little bit slight sweetness, vanilla yeah. flavors. Mm. But the most dominant, I think, it is also quite dry. It is. Dry it is yeah, yeah. But very different. Smoke beer. I can almost it's weird. It is so salty. I don't really know what to think of this, to be honest. It's not like I dislike it, but I'm not really ecstatic about it either. I would probably go somewhere, I mean, 75, 80. I'm like, uh, same as you, I'm 78, close to 80, because mm. this is like the weirdest smoked <laughs> beer I've ever had. It's like, it's pretty fun to try. It's fun to try. Oh, yeah. It, it's yeah. almost like Phantom beer. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's fun to try, but it's just so weird because you get so many impressions of salt and smoked meat yeah. and peat Peat and sweet bourbon. Sweet, yeah, I don't bourbon, think it yeah. mixes that well, but it's it's fun to try. Mm. I mean, it's not something I'd pick up again or tr try again. No, I mean, no. But but, but it, it, if if you like, I mean, smoked or, or peated or... Yeah. Wild I usually beer, like it, smoked beers a lot, but this is just too it, weird. I mean, yeah, try it. And it, it's, wasn't it's that, it wasn't that expensive. So. That's pretty good price in the mark for, especially like a wax kind of limited release. I yeah. think they only do it once a year. Yeah, so. once a year. But um, yeah, <laughs> seventy-eight for me. Mm. Yeah, let's say seventy-eight. Yeah, it's a good beer, but it's it's very weird. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like very meaty, smoky, peaty, salty, <laughs> minerally, and sweet and bourbony beers <laughs> mixed into one, then you'll like this. So. Uh, but I like the label. The label is awesome. It's a real fun beer to try. Yeah. I like when you get an experience like this. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's it awesome. It really reminds me of trying Phantom beer. Mm. So, but guys, definitely let us know what you think of the Against the Grain McFenny Ball if you've had it. <laughs> fun to try, but probably not something I'll try again. So, <laughs> guys, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're gonna say cheers. Cheers. And we're gonna see you guys in another beer review.